Hello, this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com, and we have another After Effects 5 minute tutorial. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be sure that you'll receive all the latest updates and videos that I post. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about titles or text or words on the screen. And there's lots of things you can do and animate and work with these things, so let's dive right in and show you what to do. So, First, of course, we need text. So up at the top is the text tool or command T will get you that. And you click and let's type text. Now, what can we do with this text? We can animate it. We can move it around. We can rotate it. All the same things you can do with any layer. Rotate, change the position, change the anchor point. Now, again, with the anchor point, that is the position, that is the point in which things will be scaled from and rotated around. But text has a new, another feature that normal layers don't have. And as you can see here, down in my timeline, I've got this little button that says animate and there's a triangle next to it. So I want to click on that. Now there's all these things that we can do that look familiar, like position and scale. Um, but there's skew, rotation, so some of these are a little bit different. And enable per character 3D, I'll talk about that a little bit later. So let's try one of these things. So let's try scale. And it brings up some new options here. Animator 1, range selector, scale, what are these things? So let's test it out. I'm going to scale this up and you can see the text is scaling up. And they're all kind of running into each other. But what I can do is in this range selector, what this is, is you can see these two new lines here. This is the range in which, in between these two lines, that is being affected by this parameter, the scale. So I can change the end. Did you see what happened there? As it sweeps across, it scales it up. So, and I can keyframe that. So I'll start my keyframe. I'll go forward in time. and end it. I can also do the same thing with the start point. Go forward in time and then bring that across as well. Now since they're both going across at the same time it does nothing but if I go in here highlight both these keyframes and I move them over then do you see how it they both sweep across so only in between those two lines is being affected by the scale. So that's pretty cool. Now what I can do is I can add more animation parameters. I can add it, if I click up here, I can add now rotation and it adds it here to this range selector. So I bring up the rotation and now it's gonna rotate along that same swipe across. Click here or I can just click add over here and I can add different properties. So now all of these things are going to be tied to this start and end point with the range selector. So, and the last thing I want to show you before we are done with this tutorial is the per character 3D. So if I enable that, now let's go in here and add a position. I can I can change these in 3D space. Position, I can add rotation and I can have these rotate in 3D space. and it'll all work per character instead of the word as a whole. And you can't do that unless you are using this animate feature in the text. Now, if I want to go back and then rotate the whole thing, I can, and you can see what it's doing. It's actually moving the text in 3D. If I go in here to a custom view and zoom out, you can see where the text is flying away and then popping back in. 
So dive in. If you have any questions, post them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so you can be sure to get all the latest updates and tutorials.